Take that fucker off. Don't want to bother having it on. Right. Well, it's Thursday. Uh, it's fucking hot. It's day here so far. We're on Tony Ten Tubs of the garage. This is uh, 1800 brick a day brick here. Is fucking built this. On this uh, finishing off his garage. Uh, we've done ours um, from last footage you saw. Got them gables up front, we're up, got front, a little whip front up. And now we're just waiting for an internal scaffold for the middle wall. Uh, waiting for his lintels up front and uh, internal scaffold for what works. So we're going to bang six course on this and uh, yeah, I'll show you what we're doing. Right, it's quarter past two. That's 150 brick there we've got to lay. Uh, I've got it Collison style. The boards on the boards on the bins, boards on the, on the stands. You know, I don't see many people doing it. I saw someone doing it on another job, and brickies who were doing it were slow, but it's dead easy like this. And I ain't got my head cam today. Well, I've got my head cam, but I ain't got an SD card in it, um, so I can't show you any footage. But I'll probably get Dean to film me for a couple of course. All right. See you in the next clip. Fucking hell, that's easy. You know it all being there? Yeah.
Problem, you can't get as many on, can you? I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey. As you fade away, as you fade away, yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows, no you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you
but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently thrown across every surface It makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man Life is a nuisance, tie up some loose ends I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass halfway I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing in the red inside a payphone Just wanna break, no I'm not gonna give in, take a last shot, Michael J. Win. No, I'm not a robot, I'm in my own skin Never get lost when thoughts pull you in I miss the old you, we died with the purpose All the energy around me felt nervous Scared I would pop out fast at the surface Had to cut it off before you made me worthless Torn apart, I've been torn as God I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart I'm keeping up my guard, I'm hiding every card I wrote a flush of love, you never know what's hard With a back Maybe just when I edit it down, though, I'll give it less So we're finally at the voiceover part of the video. Uh, I've got a couple of comments saying, you know, I've had quite a few comments saying people enjoy this these part of the video, so I try to get it into every vlog. Uh, so here, here was a little bit of just me doing a little bit of traditional style laying, um, a little bit more spec mix American style where you just you know spread the mortar out, don't put, uh, play with it or put any grooves in it of any kind, just you know put the brick down and put a joint on the front. Whether it's a front tip or a front and top tip or a front and back tip, you know, there's all different ways you can perp the brake, you can have perp it in your hand, perp it on the wall, but this is just some, one of the fastest ways I've found to lay traditionally if the mortar comes a little bit wet and you've got to spread it, spread it out along the wall. A little bit like I'd lay concrete bricks, but I'd lay um, concrete bricks with less of a spread than this. This is for perforators, all you do is thin your spread out with um, just laying a thinner you know, uh, you know, a thinner sausage, as you could say, across the wall um, of mortar, a thinner bed of mortar. Obviously, you know, I do lay concrete bricks like this as well as clays. Um, obviously, I like to do the pick and dip, but, you know, the seven inch tile setter is easily good enough for long spread, you know, especially on a concrete, bri a concrete brick with the right consistency mortar, you can spread, you know, easily two and a half bricks per trowel for and you can see how quick you can rapid fire those trowels of mortar at the seven inch and I just found <coughs> that your uh, you know your wrist it takes so much less strain so much less um, ache and just you've got such better stamina throughout a day and better consistent hand speed as you can see you can long uh, you know long bed pick and dip these so if you Running out a big bed on the conny bricks if the mortar's pretty wet and you want it to go off a little bit quicker on those bricks. Run a big bed out with a 7 inch, it's still viable. Don't think just because you're using a small trowel that you can't do any long bed with it. You know, it's a big, big misconception that I put down in this clip. Uh, in about 25 minutes, we did 150 bricks. And there's no reason why you can't do like 300 bricks an hour this way, you know, with a nice sort of traditional style uh, putting the joint on the front of the brick um, or a pick and dip or a long bed pick and dip sort of thing so you don't think that you have seven inch blade has no long bed capabilities you can see there it's spreading for two bricks at a time uh, you can see me even here dropping the mortar and stuff like that still uh, 
so very easy just takes a little bit of getting used to it. see look one and a half to two bricks there let's see again let's see what we spread here one and a half to two bricks and that easily adds up you can see easily rapid fire seven eight nine ten trials and more and you're looking at like 15 16 brick spread easily you know a couple of seconds each trial full and uh, it really can add up some rapid speed because as well you know you're moving your hands consistently faster in all motions you're saving time and obviously brick lanes are marathon not sprints so throughout a day you'll just feel fresh feel better and more consistent throughout the days you know a lot of guys can smash a load of work in one day and the next day they're fucked whereas this will keep you fresh day after day after day so if you're doing six day a week sometimes like i am it's loads really beneficial so uh, also got and the new uh, new rst tile set I come through with a soft feel handle it's a bit thicker than the wooden handle if anyone has a good any gripes with the wooden handle but it's about four times the price i got it off sb tools that's the only place i could find it for about 13 pounds uh, whereas the wooden handle version is three pound, so you know you're paying an extra ten, you're paying sort of four times the price for the same trowel effectively. Um, but yeah, it's something I'm going to be putting to the test. I'll still use my wooden handle one until it breaks. Really, I'm going to keep using the wooden handle. I like it, especially in in summer. I only wear I tend to wear one glove and then just use my other my other hand for the brick or the block. Um, but I definitely think the plastic handle will be something to use in winter. So I'm going to try attain some more soft feel handle versions of the RST for winter. But I, th I can only see myself really even just using this this RST really for sort of all things. I don't think I'll go to anything bigger. It's just so much good for consistency. And, you know, everyone knows it's not about how fast you are on a, on a given hour or a given day. It's how consistent, how... You know, organised and fast you are through a week that'll get you a good week's wage in. You know, a lot of us get paid per week or fortnightly, and that's all that matters. How much you can get done in a week, not how fast you can go in. You know, a fucking thirty second Instagram clip. So, um, yeah, I hope that clears up a few questions about the boards and the stands. And I can't wait to get some head cam tomorrow uh, of me doing uh, the gable on this new plot. Uh, we're flying through it. I uh, come into a couple of issues that I think. Uh, are non-issues but if they are you know we can easily get over them in, th in 30 minutes or so so we'll be coming on to um, look at doing with the camera work here going on to some uh, you know some new videos coming up in the next uh, few days so anyway guys thanks a lot for watching I'll cut back to the raw footage we've got a couple more course to put on I uh, hope you guys enjoy the footage and uh, you know just a lot of guys ask me how do you you know learn these techniques just watch people you know copy copy you know find a bricklayer on your site who's getting through a lot of work who's really fast and copy him like my myself i mentioned at the beginning of the video this is uh you know there's a bricklayer who's laying 2000 bricks a day and you gotta watch what they do you gotta you know even though you might not fucking you know they might not that you might not even know them or they might not be your friend just go over and observe you know that's the best the way i've learned over the years it's not always the you know, then you know a lot of bricklayers out there, especially on YouTube, don't like to think that they're doing everything the best, or you know, there's no other way to do things. But just watch with real life experience. Some this is how guy, you know, guys learn before the like times of YouTube. Watch what the fast bricklayers do. Watch what the good bricklayers do. Don't matter if you think they're rough. Don't matter whatever. But whoever's getting down the most bricks, watch what they're doing. Normally they'll do something that you've fucking never done before, and it'll make increase you in speed. So. That bricklayer was laying like 2,000 in bricks a day, he didn't do a pick and dip, he just did traditional with putting even put group, even put furrows in his spread, so, you know, you can lay fucking 2,000 bricks a day traditional, you just got to have the right efficiency in it, and, you know, you got to be fast with your hands at the end of the day, and, uh, unless you can, you know, the more faster you can put a brick down without scraping it twice, three, four times like you see me there, a little, you know, it's all wasting time, extra movement, you know, you just got to, sort of consider that if you want to sort of there's no way round you know being fast you know you know you can be organized you can have the best labor the best fucking work the best setup but there's no there's no uh um you know there's no substitute for being really quick with the hands quick on the trowel quick technique efficient movements and just being able to perfect that you know to a precision every time at uh, at breakneck speed there's no there's, you know nothing compares to being able to do that so 
um, you know there's no alternative really um, or no nothing um, as good as being just fast with your hands so that's what I tried to emphasize in some of these videos anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll see you at the end of the video So we got that done, it took us like 22 minutes to do that 150 break and now we're on this, check it out. Uh, it's 20 past 3 so it should only take me 20 minutes, 25 minutes and 10, 10 minutes point up so I should get it done. Dean's going to be on the pointing I think now, um, but yeah check it. So because we have no fall protection we're just going to knock them off with his level and it dries a little bit before we leave. I think they're putting an internal scaffold on these walls tomorrow. We've started getting lintels, so we're sort of done here. There's a little bit of block work to do, but I think I'll wait until they've put a little scaffold up. Fuck it. Um, well, I've got some trestles there that other bit layers left, but I have to use them to get that closer block on. Um, but yeah, we're going to get this in now. No footage, because I've got no head cam, but you saw enough footage before. Um, I'm, I laid last time traditional with a front tip. Just because the wet motor's wet, so anyway, sun's coming out now. Should be, should be better. 
and then we'll go in now. Right, I guess get this done. Yeah, that's what we're over side on. That's both sides on there. 300 brick. Nice little afternoon. I see this morning. I didn't really do much. So yeah, right. It's five past four. We've got to go. He wants to leave sight in about five minutes. Right, bye. Right, we're, uh, we're in this little single guy who's just getting a bit of block work up. Last day on this job, back to building my boxes. Um, so yeah, I've, uh, that's what we're doing. I've just built some corners while Dean runs in a little bit. And yeah, heavy box is just shit. So glad to get back on firm whites. Check it out. There's only 100 odd blocks left on site, so I'm just gonna do this and get off. It's 12 o'clock now. Should be gone in an hour. Get us, have a count up and whatnot. Nice early finish. Right. <coughs> right, it's, uh, it's 10 to 3. And uh, it's the last, my last day. Thank God. Uh, that's what we got done. Uh, basically, run out of blocks. Uh, on a normal day, I'd have got that all done, but they closed at 3 today and we ran out of blocks and whatnot. So, yeah, and we were fucking moving and getting all this gear ready because we had to get all those fucking bins and whatnot. So. Yeah, anyway guys, see you in the next one.